Hello friends. Hope all is well on your side of the world or in your house. All is well here at McWayne. Usually during spring break we have some adventures or misadventures from two of our favorite science geeks, Mac and Wayne. Well, we still want to share these adventures with you, so we have a couple of episodes for you. So welcome to the smaller version of the adventures of Mac and Wayne. Hi there, science viewers. I'm JC McKenzie of the McWayne Science Center, and this is my time-traveling science partner from the 1990s, CJ Wayne. How are things holding up in the 90s, Wayne? Everyone's pretty super stoked. We all know that the Crimson Tide is in for a unprecedented run now that Coach Mike Dubose is on board. Yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, Wayne and I are here today to... Wayne, remind me again, why are we wearing this stuff? Because life is full of only two certainties. Mm -hmm. Number one, GoldenEye will always be the best video game ever. And number two, getting in touch with your inner rocker allows you to do the best science. Okay then, in that case, let's try an experiment involving resonance. Rezo what now? Resonance, Wayne. You see, sound is made by vibrations. And resonance takes advantage of the natural frequency at which something vibrates. And it's basically a way to get more bang for your buck. Thanks to resonance, you can start sort of a chain reaction of vibrations. You only have to push on things a little bit to get them to vibrate a lot and then get more sound. Now, some things are better at resonating than others. One thing that's very good is crystal, like in this glass here. Oh, I know this one! Yeah, mm. that, that science experiment is the one that got me kicked out of my cousin's wedding reception. What? Yeah, never mind. Yeah. 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 Fancy crystal is not the only thing that resonates. Something else that does is aluminum, or for any of our viewers from the United Kingdom, aluminium. It's a very strong, but very light metal. Light metal. In my day, we preferred new metal. Is corn still around in 2020? Yes, for both the plant and the band. Sweet! So, so I can try, like, this aluminum soda can here. Oh. Don't fear, Wayne. In order to properly resonate, we have to use the right shape of aluminum. See this here can? Not gonna cut it. We'll need the aluminum. We'll need the aluminum to be in the shape of this rod. Ooh. Observe, I'm gonna push on it just a little bit. But thanks to resonance, just a little push starts a lot of vibrations. And that makes lots of sound. Whoa! Well, viewers, thanks for tuning in. Remember to keep checking out McWayne.org for more science. Keep washing the hands, we'll be watching. And please, stay safe, everyone. And be excellent to each other.